Hey everyone, it's Dylan from the Black Forest Wood Company. This week we're building a custom table for Graham Stephan's podcast, The Ice Coffee Hour. So he picked out a slab of pecan wood that we got from GL Veneer down in California. And then, of course, we had to lay coffee beans down the center of it. Uh, not only for his, his podcast name, but he also has his new coffee brand, Bankroll Coffee. Uh, and then we did a, a custom base on there, just solid steel from Forge 53. And we're gonna show you guys in this video our entire process of creating this piece. If you guys enjoy this video, please leave us a like, comment, uh, and subscribe. That all really helps us out. And I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so it's been about two days now since we did our base layer in this table for Graham. And if you guys take a look in here at the epoxy, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's still kind of soft. I can actually still dent it with my finger. So that's about the perfect time uh, if you're doing layered pours for when you want to pour that next layer. Uh, you don't want it to stick to your finger, but you do want to still be able to dent it. Uh, and then like I mentioned earlier, this one's getting coffee beans. So we've got, we probably bought too much. We bought like $100 worth of coffee beans. We've got four full bags here, should we need it. I don't think we will, but we might. Um, the goal here is to kind of cover the whole bottom. So I'm going to dump these in. Lauren's going to help me spread it out, and then we're just going to pour a thin layer over top of these to kind of seal them in place. And then once that layer is tacky, then we're going to do the final casting. Graham and Jack, the guys who this table is for, they actually have a podcast called The Ice Coffee Hour. So it's obviously only fitting that they cover their whole table in coffee beans. Okay, so I think that's a good start. Um, we'll kind of clean up the, the coffee beans that have got all over the place. Uh, we'll even this out and then we'll come back and show you guys what it looks like before we pour. Uh, so my plan right now is to just try and coat all of the coffee beans and get a thin layer poured over them so that they're all nice and sealed. All right, I can already tell there's gonna be some repositioning to be done. They definitely float. We got all the coffee beans in. Now, I actually didn't expect them to move quite as much as they did. I thought more of them were going to be stuck down. So what I'm kind of going to do now is just move these coffee beans around in here um, so that all surfaces of every single bean are coated in epoxy. This is a really weird feeling. It's kind of fun. plan was to actually get these beans uh, within that line so that we didn't end up cutting through any but as you guys can see that would have been really hard to stop them from going to the end so we're just gonna end up cutting through these beans and well we might have to like fill it up with super glue for the beans that are sticking through on the end but it should look pretty cool weird smell like mix of epoxy and coffee
coffee bean table has been demolded and it's been flattened. Uh, I wet it down a little so you guys can kind of see what the grain looks like, um, as long as Charlie's not in the way, I guess. Uh, but you really can't see the beans in there right now. So if you look from the end, you can see the beans in there. Um, so we're going to have to polish this whole thing up. We'll put our Osmo on. Uh, but the pour did come out really, really clear. So I'm thinking by the time this is sanded, it should look just amazing. Just got this table all finished up, dusted off, and it's ready to ship out to Graham down to his home in Vegas. Uh, this piece turned out very, very good. Uh, we used our Black Forest Deep resin for the pour, and you can see there's excellent clarity in the resin, like the coffee beans came out with a lot of clarity. There's very few to, I would say, almost no bubbles in this piece, so that's kind of what allows you to see in there. Uh, the finish that we used on this is our Black Forest Furniture Oil, uh, which is almost done. The labels are basically finished. We've just got to wait for the product to show up, so that's coming very soon. And then we topped it off with our Black Forest Ceramic, so that is available now. You guys can get that on our website. Um, but really excited to see Graham start to use this, and I want to say thank you to Graham for picking us for this and allowing us to create this piece for him. Uh, of course, we want to hear what you guys have to say in the comments down below. Uh, but overall, we're very happy with the way this piece came out. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the process of this table. Uh, again, huge shout out to Graham for letting us do this for him. Uh, we'll leave a link to his channel in the description below if you guys haven't seen him before. Uh, we had a lot of fun creating this and I'm sure we're gonna have some more interesting requests for things to put in the tables. Uh, so thank you guys if you watched all the way through to the end of the video. And let's see what Charlie thinks about the table, see if he has anything to say this week. Charlie? Nope. Charlie? Oh, He's keeping it short. This is birthday. Oh yes, uh, it was Charlie's birthday yesterday, you guys. Uh, he is now one year old, so that, that was very exciting for him. We'll have to give him uh, some kind of dog food cake thing today. We'll buy him a treat from the farmer's market across the street. Um, so he would really appreciate some happy birthday wishes in the comments. Not for me. This is all for Charlie. He's going to read them after. Um, so yeah, wish him a happy birthday.